do you happen to have a belief you wish to discuss? Uh, this sounds like a really typical belief. And I know that I, it's very um, common for you to hear it, but I truly will always believe that everything happens for a reason. Well, that's really interesting. So yeah. you'd think I would have talked about that before, but I don't think I have. So you believe that everything happens for a reason, that yeah. when something bad happens for you, that there's a reason that it has happened to you. Yes. And if some, of course, if something good happens to you, then there's also a reason why that good thing has happened to you as yeah. well. On a scale from one to seven, how confident are you that this belief is true? Uh, I'd say uh, 6.5. On and scale. on a scale from one to seven, how important is it for you to believe in true things, things that are true and real? I think it's pretty important. Like if you want to believe in something, you know, make sure that you have a backup for it. It's just in case, you know, like something, a situation like this that I'm getting asked, you know, why I believe it. So. Yeah. And so on a scale from one to seven, what would you think? Like how important is it for you to believe in true things? Just gives me a, a sense. Uh, I think it's six. Okay. Yeah. How do you know your belief is true? Um, well, there's only one story, and I use this all the time. Every every single time that I get asked this question. Sure. But um, no, when, uh, back in like 2016, uh, I was with you know um, somebody in my family, and they were going through like I think they were going to separate at the time. Oh, and sorry. And so we were all riding in a in a car, and we got in one of one of the most you know horrible car accidents I've ever experienced. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. And at the time, the, the day before that, though, we constantly saw, you know, a black butterfly and it followed us everywhere. We would go outside and it was still there. We put our hand there, tried to scare it away and it was still there no matter what. So right after the accident, we had realized, you know, there was this man who like had walked up and I'd, I'd never seen him before. You know, we normally know all the people who lived around us and I'd never seen him before. And he just asked us like we were OK. And he was the most calm that all of us but out of all of us. And later that day, he was like, you know, everything's going to be OK. And I never really understood what he meant until we got to the hospital. And ever since that accident, their relationship grew way more than it did at that time. They healed from all of their fights and everything. And wow. they stayed together after that. Wow. You know? That's powerful. I can understand why you believe the belief. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of makes sense of how everything happened that day, right? Yeah. Let me ask you like a hypothetical, a thought experiment. Okay. Let's say Fred's sitting next to you. And Fred had an experience similar to yours, where he had seen a black butterfly. He had seen a stranger. The stranger had said some things to him. He didn't know what it meant at the time. Yeah. Fred really basically had the very same experience as yes. you, except for one unfortunate outcome that the couple that he knew mm -hmm. after that experience split apart. Okay. And because of that, he believes that things don't happen for a reason. Yeah. That the world is chaos and sometimes things can appear that they happen for a reason and sometimes they don't. Yes. If I hear you and Fred talk, yeah. and I want to know what's real and true about the world, how could I find out? What would I be able to glean from your conversation to know what's what's real? Okay. Well, I mean, I feel like in situations like that, there's so many situations that you can't tell someone like everything happens for a reason. And that sounds really like mean sometimes when you say it. Like if somebody's like, oh, well, you know, my dad died today and you're like, everything happens for a reason. I feel like that's a very crappy response to tell someone. So you have to wait for them to like yeah. heal from stuff. But if, it, if I was in that situation, I feel like it still was obviously for a reason, you know? Like they split up because they needed to at that point. There has to be some sort of chaos for them to split up. And just to be clear, Fred really, really believes that things happen for no reason. Yeah. I don't can't explain it. That's Fred. Yeah. He really believes that despite what you believe, mm -hmm. he believes things happen for no reason. Yeah. How could we figure out what's true, what's real? Is there a way we could find out? I honestly, 100%, I can't answer that question, if I'm going to be honest, because I feel like it's different situations from everyone. I can't make someone believe what I believe, you know? I can't tell them any different, but... And if Fred says that things happen for no reason, and it's the truth, and he can't convince you... Yeah. 
otherwise because of the real truth, and that's what he believes. Yeah. Are we anywhere? Are we, are we, can we do anything? Or what's, where are we? I feel like it's more of a discussion situation. Like it, it'd be like a conversation like we're having now. We talk to each other about each other's experiences and try yeah. to listen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like we're talking now. Yeah. And to be clear, whether you're right or Fred's right, I'm not taking a position. I just want to know, hearing you, I just want to know if it's true. If it's a true belief, I'd really like to believe it. If it's not a true belief, I'd rather not. Yeah. And I just want to believe in true beliefs. Could it be said that either you or Fred, what you believe is true? Like either you are saying is true or either Fred is saying true and it's not both true? I feel like one of us, one of us has to be true, but I'm, I can't say 100% it's going to be me. So either way, I would list because I mean, it's always like the butterfly effect. And that's really, you know, kind of hard to explain sometimes. And I, I'm going to be honest, I, I suck at explaining things. One, that's, You're doing great. Yeah. But um, I still would try to listen to everybody's like, you know, opinions or like if anybody has a different discussion than what I am saying. And even if it is true and they strongly believe otherwise, like it's like scientifically proven and they still try to explain otherwise, I'm still going to listen either way. Yeah. So... You said that you're confident in the belief at a six. At a six, you think that your belief is true. Yeah. How can we get you to a 6.2? What would make you even more confident that your belief is true? Uh, understanding why good, th- like bad things happen to really, really good people. That's if something, you understood that more, I if get I it. understood that more, because I know a lot of you know situations where these people have done nothing wrong, and like you know, yeah. so many things go wrong in right. their life, and right. I don't, and I, you know, I, ne- I can never understand that. So if I yeah. were able to get an explanation as to why, then I would 100% believe what I'm saying. Well, let me ask you that question in a different way. Okay. You're at a six. What would make you less confident in the belief? Say a five point nine nine nine. Instead okay. of a six, is there something that you think that you could learn about the world that would reduce your confidence in the belief? I think uh, hearing other people's stories, as in like, if I were to hear that they had complete chaos and they got, they gained nothing out of it, they got you know no good news, no good situations, nothing came into their life. That would one hundred percent like lower what I'm believing in right now. So it seems like you're fairly flexible with the belief. Yeah. That you with more experience of this being true, that your belief will, you'll become more confident in your belief, and the less experience of this belief being true, you'll have less confidence in the belief. Yes. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.